Taylor Brands is a rapidly growing AI powered logo and graphic design maker. They use automated tools to create unique logos and pair it with a branding standard that, can, that you can use on everything from merchandise to business cards to social media and to your website. Um, their tool starts with a logo maker uh, and you walk through uh, answering questions about what you like and don't like and it ends up with a logo that you can download or low resolution for free or continue to their tool, uh, their paid tool to edit it and whatnot. So this is a video to show the upsides, downsides and how it works. I'm Nate Shiver. I've been a marketing consultant for 10 plus years and in that time I've helped website owners from small businesses to large consumer brands uh, develop and showcase their brand on their website. Quick dis disclosure, I receive a commission when you make a purchase from the companies mentioned on this website or this YouTube channel. All data and opinions are based on my experience as a customer or a consultant to a customer. So. Taylor Brands, actually one downside about them is that uh, because they are a unique tool, it, it can be confusing about how it works. So it starts with uh, their local make maker tool where you walk through and answer questions like this about what you like and don't like. And there is an artificial intelligence, basically an algorithm that throws designs at you and uh, you basically tell it if it's hot or cold um, and it takes uh, a lot of branding rules across fonts, color combinations, uh, and looks to create a completely unique brand that they would argue is indistinguishable from something that you can buy from a human graf graphic designer. Um, and then the AI will automatically pair it across uh, a full range of things like business cards, merch, social media. Now, the to create a logo, it's free. Um, but then to actual actually get the high quality logo files and you know have it paired, have that logo extended for an EPS file that you can use to build a billboard or to make a social media file. Um, basically, it's. Three ninety nine billed annually, so basically it's fifty bucks ballpark to get a logo from them uh, and unlock all your templates. Um, with that, they do throw in a little mini website builder, they a stock photo library, and all that that I'll show you in just a second. But the way they structure their payments is they're really trying to be a branding software where they don't just give you a logo. Uh, instead, they want to be the place where you can get a logo and then you can continually return to them as you need to use that logo wherever you are. So that even a small one person business can have, not Starbucks level, but Starbucks like consistency in the application of colors, typography, and brand look across your business cards, business deck. So once you go through the logo creation sequence you get dropped into a dashboard like this where you can create branded designs that will automatically fit your facebook page youtube page pinterest um, even print you know if you want to create gift certificates cards posters flyers um, anywhere zoom backgrounds um, they have this graphic design studio that will automatically take your your logo and your brand look and extend it across wherever you want to use it. So that's their main pitch for the graphic design tool. Uh, and then they also have, if you don't have a website, you know, you can automatically, you can build a website through them. Uh, they have a custom website builder built on the Duda platform, which I've also talked about elsewhere on my site. It's a robust, solid website builder. So if you don't have a website builder um, already, that comes bundled in your subscription. But this is what the studio looks like. It's pretty straightforward. They do a good job, um, especially um, if you want to 
if you're really into social media uh, and you need a lot of assets, that's where some of their upgrades come in. Uh, with their upgrades, you know, they have things like the seasonal logo generator um, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, that kind of thing. And then um, on their maximum plan, they have the social media auto scheduler and a little online store that syncs with Square and different payment solutions. It's very, very similar to Buffer or Hootsuite or some of the other chatbots. So they kind of have a hard time, hard job marketing themselves because they're they focus on the branding, but then they use their tools to extend the branding out, and they kind of have a bundled tool set that includes social media, chat, website builder. So if you're starting a small business or if you have a small business and you already have things like email, calendar, and maybe even a basic website in place, this makes an interesting complement. Um, it's almost like a AI powered graphic designer on call. Um, that's much cheaper than you could find even on Fiverr um, or some of the other cheap outsourcing platforms. So that's how it works. And also, and also that includes some of the product upsides. Um, you know, for example, the pricing structure and their cross sales. Um, if you compare the total value of their tool to, you know, building a website, getting a logo from somewhere and then paying someone on Upwork or Fiverr or even a local graphic designer to create some of the, some of these things for you. You really just can't compete with this kind of pricing. Um, this is just going to be the cheapest place to automatically create all those Facebook posts and have them look good um, anywhere. Uh, and then also to have them quickly because one thing about having a graphic designer, a human one, is that the turnaround is going to be, you know, hours maybe days, maybe weeks, depending on what you're looking for. With a tool like this, it's going to be automatic, uh, instant, uh, whenever you sign up. So that's why I use it, especially for some of my smaller websites. It's a way I can batch create. I can go in and create a whole bunch of Facebook posts very, very quickly. They all look good. They don't have to be vetted. You know, I don't have to physically design them in Photoshop. Uh, I can just download and upload to social media to my website wherever I need it. Um, now, there are some, the downsides of Taylor Brands is, is also similar to the upsides. One is that they are this separate tool. They're not stand at all, standalone, they're not bundled. Um, there's a lot of website builders that bundle logo makers and branding. Shopify does that, Wix does that, uh, GoDaddy does that, uh, where they have logo, logo makers are just one of their many features. Uh, Taylor Brands is a separate subscription. That's going to be um, a little bit hard. But again, if you make use of a lot of their tools for decks, presentations, merchandise, Zoom backgrounds, it's going to pay for itself. But there is that to consider how you're actually going to use it, um, especially because you don't actually get a free logo. You have you, you got you to pay 50 bucks to get the high resolution version of their logo. Um, the other piece of cons that I talk about on the written part um, is that brand identity and graphic design, um, you know, if you are a large, if you're a, even a small rapidly growing company or even a company of some size, there is nothing that can replace a human designer even a human designer off Upwork, you know, someone that you're outsourcing design work to, someone who knows how to use Adobe Photoshop quickly, they're going to be expensive, but they're always going to know how to not only create better looking images, but also they're, they're going to know better than you on how to integrate it across your brand assets. So, Again, Taylor Brands makes is a tool that makes a lot of this approachable for do-it-yourselfers, but there's still going to be a lot of do-it-yourselfer mistakes. Um, and again, that kind of comes into a lot of their quality tools. You know, a lot of the tools that they use are not the top top tier. If you choose the the best website builder, 
um, or the best scheduler. You know, I use Buffer for my social media scheduling. I don't use Taylor Brands scheduler because it's a it's a better tool. It's focused on that. So there's going to be some downsides with uh, using Taylor Brands tool suite because the tool suite that they bundle is not going to be the bundle of the best tools. It's going to be a bundle of good tools, solid tools that get the job done uh, that work at that price. So if that's something that works for your goals, it's going to be great. If not, you know, there's going to be other alternatives. So that's the upsides, downsides, and how Taylor Brands works. Uh, if you want to read some of the other alternatives and use cases, like how I would use it, how I've recommended my clients use it, be sure to click over to the full written review. Otherwise, thank you for watching.